Hey guys, I'd like to talk to you about an interesting new game that's coming up. It's called Aratus Lord of the Dead. And this is a special kind of game because it's based around necromancy. Oftentimes in a game you'll just be doing necromancy as a sort of, you know, thing on the side that the developer hadn't really implemented all too well or anything, but no, in this game it's going to be all about necromancy, which is very exciting. From what I can see, it's going to have a similar aesthetic to Darkest Dungeons. And if you read the FAQ, Darkest Dungeons is listed as an inspiration for this game. But one of the things that makes me happiest is what I read in this FAQ page. It says, As a true necromancer, Erasus dislikes using weapons by himself and prefers to destroy his enemies with obedient minions such as skeletons, zombies, and vampires. This sounds really great to me because what this means is that there's a very high chance that this game is going to meet my criteria for satisfying necromancy in a game. The game will enter early access in Q3 of 2018, so it should be out in early access any day now. And they plan to release it in Q1 of 2019. I'm feeling pretty optimistic about this game, but let's just see how it turns out. Don't go crazy and don't get your hopes up too high and everything because we have been let down before. Most recently we were let down by Conan Exiles, who promised necromancy and did not deliver on it. This is a bit different because this is a game about necromancy. They can't actually, you know, not deliver on it. But it could end up like Necro. If anyone remembers Necro, it was a game that was it was a game where the funds were raised for it on Kickstarter and it completely flopped. It just cancelled and that was it. No game. So you have to be careful. Don't get the hopes up too high. Wait for it to come out. Watch on Let's Play, watch some other people review it. I'm going to probably get it and review it just to see what it's like. But yeah, just, just be careful is all I'm saying. Don't run away on, on the hype train and get disappointed. Oh, and I'd recommend downloading their demo from the Kickstarter. I didn't realize they had a demo until I sat down to make this video, but it seems like they do. I'll have to check that out myself.